Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. This is your Hall of Famer, Director Marlon Green, Director of Photography, Concept Developer, Advocate. Hello, everyone. Today, I want to jump in and talk about social media leadership and disorders. What I've noticed that social media is revealing most people have personality disorders. They will play nice in life, but on social media, they are not consistent. That shows you how they really are. They want you to see how great they pretend to be, even when they don't speak up or say hi at or on the job, are very conscientious or, and are the ones that will sleep with your husband or the wife, accuse people like Bill Cosby of rape. Uh, when you give them the muffin away so generously and away so freely, they are not going to commit to any relationship as long as they can prosper being single at 10 to 1 in their favor. And meanwhile, the guys, they're trying to strip the guys of the jobs. They're trying to strip the guys of their title. They're trying to strip the guys of their academic achievements all because of woman's sake. Just because they want to be in charge, they feel as though we have to give up everything to put them in charge. Just like Nancy Pelosi talking about she doesn't hate the president, but yet and still she makes every hate move after hate move, even though the president and his administration have also been accused of racism and some of their allies. Now, let's get this straight, right? The media is against our president. I'm not on the side of the media or the president. I'm just going to speak the truth. When the media and the women does something, it's okay. When the president and men does something, it's not okay. And we can see these double standards play out. And instead of talking about women this and women that, women already have most of the job. So this gender equality speech is really just a hate speech on the down low. Because a lot of y'all campaign, you get paid for campaigning. I haven't got paid for campaigning in 20 years. And yet, and y'all still feel as though that you can just do anything you want and step on guys like me and get to the front of the line. Well, if the Golden Globes or Oscars and everybody else can accept the gays and everybody else saying, I deserve to be here. Well, I deserve to be here with my handsome looks, with my intelligent attributes with my charm and personality, you might can't tell because you're stuck in your same paradigm all of your lives. Many of you out there act like you're such great people, but if we see you on the streets, you won't even say hi. And a lot of you out there like you sororities and fraternities, not all of you, but most of you are dishonorable and all you do is copy off of other people and steal their ideas when in fact you should be helping or enhancing other people's idea. You're the ones that people accuse of the bully uh, attacking people like Mark, Marcus Garvey. We're not going to put up with y'all's shit and we know y'all uh, conflicted oaths and secrets. That's not just going for them. That's going for the secret society and these hate groups like the KKK and the white supremacists and all the rest of these uh, people that's in the background acting like they like us but they don't. Uh, they have the nerve and the will not to see the truth just as they can't see the very bricks that make up the home that you need to build a home. While you party a lot, everything y'all do, y'all bring a party to it or a sense of a desperation which distorts the whole picture. And you get jobs you don't deserve. Even when you don't have jobs, y'all know what I mean. You get money under the table. Men can't do that, especially African-Americans. We don't get many jobs working under the tables like the Spanish with construction. And we don't get many jobs under the table as maids like white folks and Spanish folks. Okay. Instead, you know what they do? Find out what we doing, take our ideas, raise our taxes, raise our rent, and then they tell you, pull, you, pull yourself up by your bootstraps is straight Willie Lynch to me. And these women, especially African Americans, I'm disappointed. And that's why I date every other race but my own. I don't get along with them. They don't do nothing. They don't correspond. They don't sync up with. They don't do anything that makes sense. Yet and still, 
y'all in charge. I seen a raggedy chick in Office Depot running a family business, having a Mercedes, and she was raggedy looking and had a Mercedes. Even if she just worked for the company, she driving a Mercedes. I'm not. And then y'all have the nerve not to like me. You are pathetic. You are absolutely pathetic. And I want to say good job, Army, for taking my concepts and making electronic glasses underneath the visor. My design is the better design. Uh, be looking out for the STEM projects, not the ones that Dr. Mackey and the other advocates of STEM are doing. They're doing a great job. It's the seventh anniversary. But I'm the one that you come to when you actually have projects that you want to compete on a large scale or on another level than what you've been doing because I'm the one that a lot of people are mimicking their ideas, their patterns, their concepts, and this is not going to be my final destination. And also, if African Americans dragging on their ass trying to get jobs for the white folks, I don't know why you're running behind them anyway. Now, a lot of the white folks are cool, are cool, but a lot of them not because we keep running into the same shit. They get wives, they get girlfriends, they get cars, homes, and houses. And meanwhile, these African-American women get excited off of fucking chicken sandwiches, which is pathetic. Don't feel nothing for a Hall of Famer. Don't feel nothing for an advocate. Don't feel nothing for an activist who actually do something. You know what they do? They keep you out the job one. They keep you out economic opportunity. This is after stealing your shit. They don't even recognize or respect publications or proof. The only thing that they care about is selling you a dream that they're taking advantage of and they're going to get rich. Facebook is a conflicted entity. They have been accused of major sex trafficking on Facebook. And Mark Zuckerberg refused to give up the uh, uh, the data. And this just goes to show you, Americans look up the billionaires and they turn around and they fuck you. And y'all give them Christmas presents for fucking you. I'm not playing up with that shit. A lot of y'all, you are not going to commit to no relationship at 10 to 1. Because if you're single, getting money under the table all kinds of ways, at least three different ways. And you know what I'm talking about. You're never going to change. Uh, people like Obama, uh, Barack Obama and Michelle Obama are conflicted. The only thing that they do is help themselves. And while they get richer, the people that look like them get poorer. And then what do they do? They go overseas to get relief in order to relieve themselves of the responsibility of being responsible adults to males. And a lot of this goes on in America and you all wouldn't admit it. And a lot of you all are just substandard leaders and uh, inconsistent uh, allies. And I just wanted to say, remember that even though uh, President Trump went to Canada and y'all in the media try to make it worse than what it is, President Trump called uh, Canada out by not paying a 2% in defense because when the United States overstretched their boundaries, make these weapons, go into other people, countries, and raise these bills up. They have the nerve to ask the allies, and the allies be like, look, we didn't tell y'all, or we didn't support y'all to do all of this aggressive uh, military campaigning, and then y'all expect us to pay no matter what the United States do. We're not going to fucking do it. Keep paying over 2% or closer to 2%, which keeps the budget, it keeps swelling because... More and more of our leaders, like the deep state, want people to believe that wars like the Afghan war was justified. And then all of the media and all of the coverage around, and uh, we know who bombed 911, the deep state haven't done anything. We all know who did this other shit, and they haven't done anything. And America is a bunch of fake ass leaders. They're only motivated by jealousy and envy and if you were minding your business and doing your own thing they will go out of their way to spy on you to try to get something good and just like african americans they've been getting something good and they're only going to give you when they think that we're going to leave their ass i say we leave their ass 
because them, the justice system, and the policy and laws of this country ain't shit, and they paint good guys bad and bad guys good because they're dragging and lackluster self-inflicted narcissism that only drags them down and the people around, around them. And this is why our allies are making gains that the United States have fumbled. And also, I don't support Brexit. We warned y'all five years ago it was a bad idea. It's collapsed. Now they're looking for economic opportunities to exploit. And don't trust these royal families because uh, a lot of them are cause of the problems. A lot of them are cause of the poverty. A lot of them are cause of this sex trafficking so that it can make a few dollars more for their kingdom. All of you all are pathetic compared to people like me. And this is why I have respect. And you all need to learn some respect.